Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at Content Cal. It's a collaboration environment that gives you a calendar and planning system for publishing your social media feeds. And we're going to do an onboarding, start up an account from scratch, and we're going to go all the way through. And we're going to actually publish this post here live on my Twitter feed. So stay tuned. Hey, this is David with Tech Smart Boss here with another video, and we're going to take a look at this product called Content Cal, contentcal.io. It's a social media collaboration tool. It looks like it gives you not only a cal calendar for planning your social media posts, but if I look at the screenshot, they've got some analytics in here, campaigns. We'll take a look at that. I, I saw a mention of evergreen posting. So it, it, can, it can do your planning. It can post. It can auto-publish. And... Yeah, I noticed it integrates with Zapier, and that's what they're using uh, to do some of the things like Instagram and Pinterest and, and Slack and some of those. They have a pretty favorable pricing plan uh, for individuals. They've got a free plan. You'll see you can connect four social accounts, have one calendar, 50 posts per month. So that's a little bit better than, uh, than Buffer. Uh, from a pricing perspective there in terms of what they give you. Uh, but it's pretty affordable if you scale up. And then it's got pricing for teams and for agencies. So let's go ahead and go through their onboarding and take a look and see what uh, what they do here. I'm going to go ahead and create a free account. And uh, I'm in their sign-up page here. So it says 14 days free, no credit card required. You know, I like that. One calendar free forever. So... That's a great thing to do in case you want to use this in the future. Let me go ahead and put in my Tech Smart Boss email address and take a peek at this under the cover. So let's go ahead and put in a password. I'm not going to put in a very secure password. Let's see if it actually lets me do that since I only got two bars. And it looks like it might be thinking about it it does all right so nice personal touch here good morning david i've got some actions here where i can go into their help or book a demo so i like that uh i can rename my organization let's go ahead just do that right away call this tech smart boss i always like to put that personal approach to my tools now i've got a calendar and i know i'm on this free plan so i'm not sure if I, i'm probably getting some more of their advanced features beyond their free plan during this 14-day trial. In fact, it says right here, I'm on their company plan. So I can do a lot of things here. So I see a, from an onboarding perspective, they got a series of videos that I can learn right here. Uh, I can request access to Respond Beta. So I saw that on their, on their website. It looks like this might be a place where I can respond to engagement on social media so nurture your audience assign conversations yeah so sort of like a little uh social media help desk type of thing uh here so you know all your teammates uh, can 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 have roles in responding before i go into that calendar let's go ahead and take a look under our profile we've got just basic stuff there let's just go ahead and click there yeah, not, nothing really too special there all pretty standard so now let's go ahead and take a look at that calendar. So I'm going to go back and let's look at the first calendar that it looks like they've built on my behalf. All right. So this is the calendar. Uh, I'll just step through this so I can schedule my content. There's a pin board. So, okay, this is like an ideas or a, a, a content curation. You know, we share with your team some potential thoughts and I can manage multiple accounts. So let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. Now, I'm assuming I'm going to set up and connect some social accounts at some point. Um, so let's go ahead and before we start adding posts, let's click in the setup and see, okay, and this is where we connect our connection. So that's that's what I sort of figured. I've, I've got my 5,000 fish, which is my primary business, Twitter account logged into here. So this should be an easy connection for me to go ahead and connect my Twitter account. Let's get out a try and see what that does so because i'm already authenticated and logged in it should just detect that and allow me to authorize that app and it did so that's what i expected and that's pretty smooth process and let's go ahead and return to the calendar so now i'm connected and i only see at the moment where i can connect uh one social media connection at a time i know on the free plan it said you only had four uh, but if i do have the company plan i, I would think I could go back and, and, and redo some of those but 
looks like I could go through easily and um, connect my social things. Now, what is this? Planning channels. Uh, so let's say I was going to do a special project. Let's call this event 2019, just as an example, and make a planning channel and see what that does. Uh, and I'll put a little icon on that. All right. We'll see how that factors into uh, my content creation. I'm sure that's some sort of tagging system. I can connect uh, a, a bit.ly looks like as a link shortening. All right. And uh, Facebook link pr preview editing. I haven't connected my Facebook page. Here's some tagging. So I'm, I'm just going to add a tag. It looks like now it's popping up some help to help me with tagging. But I'll add a tag called uh, self service bi since i'm talking about my primary business which is a um bi solution hashtags let's create create a couple hashtags uh business intelligence is, is one of the ones that i use the most on that side now one thing that i am noticing I'm, I'm filling these in a little thing with their interface as i'm mousing uh out of it it's not appearing to auto save it's still in edit mode but I'm going to assume that it's saving that unless I see a save button somewhere on the screen, which which I don't. So I, I think it's saving, but I'll um, we'll, maybe we'll come back and take a look at that because I don't see a save button. Let's actually just test it. I'm going to come back into the content calendar and set up. Let's just, just see if it kept up. It does. It keeps it there. Just a little bit of a UI thing that that looks a little bit like it's still in edit mode and didn't auto save now before again we post some content let's take a look at the other sections here of course there won't be any analytics at this point it's a brand new uh be nice to have kind of like a, a little demo environment here and, and see some example analytics once i get going but i can kind of see i've got the ability to set date ranges look at those tags that i set up and filter by that and of course filter by uh, social media accounts so that that looks pretty good campaigns is something that i wasn't quite sure what it was it looks like it's this is your future store information and keep your team united on future plans so this is sort of like a almost like a, a project management sort of environment let's just build one i'll stick with that event 2019 concept let's say we're going to start it and we're going to try to have this event by the 4th of july testing campaigns here and let's save this campaign and see how that kind of adds uh, to it. So now, if I click inside this campaign, it's just a brief. We'll see if when I add content, if I can add to a specific campaign and see what's going on with that. And then this is where I can invite my team members and give them certain roles here. So that's very nice. So this is from a collaboration perspective. Looks like there's get, they've got some collaboration and uh, it says yeah, I can chat with them to get approval flow uh, enabled. So I'm sure that's a company feature, not something that would be on the, the free um, sort of plan. All right, let's go in and do the bread and butter here, which is the content. Now, I've got a couple things here. I've got add new posts on the pin board, drag and drop posts to fill your calendar. I also have an actions button here. That's to pause all of my content. So that's a nice, that's like your, your, your gas is coming out your car at the gas station and you got to hit the emergency stop pump and now let's see what i've got here i haven't added anything but twitter okay here's that event thing that we set up um uh, let's see i've got my twitter set up let's add new content and see see what this is going to look like let's see what this little okay that's just removes that all right add a new post so state pin board post add to my twitter account i'll select that let's grab a link to one of my most common my most recent post here and where i normally would put something witty i'm just going to copy the title and copy the link and put that in for this demo purposes so now it did bring in the link preview it picked up my um uh, social icon and things like that looks like i can update and add that then what does this little smiley face do that's a that's a okay just em, emoticons there emojis uh category there's a categories where i can do that that looks like it factors into my analytics at some point now let's say i want to publish this today and right now and uh, let's add it as approved 
see what else I got here. Post preview. Kind of looking at that. Let's add it. And uh, see. And there it is. So pretty straightforward. So you can imagine if you had a team of collaborators that were all responsible for different tasks, this could give you a straight up view on how that looks. It's got my little name here as the person who created that. Uh, let's do a post preview. It's going to give me a preview of what that's going to look like on Twitter. And if I open the editor, it looks like I can get back into editing that. So this is approved as of now. So as you saw, there was advanced approval workflow and that. So from a calendar system, approval system, this looks to have all the essential ingredients. Uh, this is, you know, they mentioned beta and they have a public roadmap that they talk about. So I think there's a lot of additional features and things coming in this product. It mentioned evergreen posting. I'm not seeing the elements of that at the uh, at the moment. But it, I think uh, let's do a refresh on my Twitter profile and see if that actually went out. And let's, there it is. Uh, nope, that's the one I already did. So I'm not going to sit here. The timing, it should go out pretty soon. But I think this gives you a good indication of content cow, how it might be useful in your environment. If I had multiple calendars, I can switch be, between that. So if you do have a team doing your social media and you need to get all on the same page, this appears to be a, a application that gives you all the all the kind of tools and techniques that you need to do that. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we put out one each week. And also check out our Facebook page and go out to techsmartboss.com and see all the other things that we're doing. All right, stay tuned for the next video.